begin tonight with the latest in a bidding war over a plot of land in North County worth millions and how it's going to be used. The county wants to build a hub for treating various mental health issues, but the city of Vista and a nonprofit have a different vision. It's called Green Oak Ranch, and that's where you find our Sarah Allegra, who is starting us off live from Vista to explain. Sarah. Yeah, hi, Kathleen. Green Oak Ranch has been a well-known recovery program, really welcomed by locals here in the Vista area for years upon end. But the county's plans to expand upon that, building this plot of land into a mental health hub has raised some concerns which, between community members here as well as the city. So the city did move forward tonight with voting on an appraisal of the property, hoping to have this property in the hands of the city instead of the county. Well, it was a lifesaver for us eight years ago. This is the home of Karen Allison and her family of five. It's a low income RV park run by a ministry that sits in secluded South Vista at a spot called Green Oak Ranch. We're kind enough to rent us an old FEMA trailer that they had sitting in their RV park. While the ministry will stay, 110 acres of the 138 acre land is up for sale, something the county of San Diego is willing to drop over 300 million on to build build a regional behavioral health hub and it could put the funding that her home relies on at stake. Right now we don't have a backup plan. We don't know what we would do, where we would go. That's what brought Karen and dozens of other locals who live nearby to City Hall Tuesday night. Many pleading with city leaders to buy the land instead. We're struggling with 250 kids on three fields. Joe Allen is president of the Vista Girls Softball League. He'd like to see land at Green Oak turned into another ballpark, a resource he says his or is in desperate need of. You have potential now to build a phenomenal sports facility, not only for softball, but for youth sports in general. Meanwhile, Jason Venetulo with Nonprofit Solutions for Change says his team has been the top bid for the land until recently. We're in Vista, so this is our community. The nonprofit plans to expand on its current program, which provide housing to homeless families, an initiative Jason says is far different than what the county is opting for. They're going to be beholden to the housing first model, which is they, they can't mandate drug testing, they can't mandate workforce development. And while Karen and her family debate what's next, she leaves leaders at the county level with this plea. I feel the need for more services for mentally ill, addicted, homeless people. But if we could build a new facility on land that's not already inhabited by other people who are economically weak, that would be best. Now, Supervisor Jim Desmond is behind this proposal at the county level. Now, he says this is not a housing first approach, that if the county were to acquire this land, it would be built out in phases and take place over the span of several years, and that his hub would host just around 200 people. Now, coming up at the end of next month, June 30th, Supervisor Desmond and the city are said to host a community forum to help address any questions that residents here have. For now, that's the very latest in Vista. Sarah Allegre, Fox 5 News.